Thank you, Janet. Good morning, everyone. Bonjour. C'est en rare d'être ici aujourd'hui, Annie. I'd like to first of all take a moment to uh, recognize Councillor Evelyn Dutrezac, who's here this morning. And I'd also like to welcome Alex Billado, our keynote speaker. Welcome, Alex, to our city. And I'd also like to thank, uh, thank all of you from AMSA for donating to Keeping Them Warm. I think that is a wonderful way of, uh, I've been to many of these conferences and I'll tell you there's always these gifts given to speakers and I think this is a wonderful, wonderful way of doing this. So thank you so much for our community and the many sponsors and the exhibitors today. Um, on behalf of City Council and citizens of Greater Sudbury, I extend a sincere welcome to all members of the Ontario Municipal Social Services Association to our beautiful city. And I know that uh, Kira was talking about she hadn't been here for about 30 years, so um, you do notice there's quite a difference. Uh, and I know that uh, we've planted over 10 million trees in our city. So um, if you haven't been here for a while, welcome back. Welcome, and uh, it's important that you know how much work that this city has done. But on that note, for more than 60 years, your association has provided leadership in integrated human services through strong local service system management in Ontario municipalities. It is an honour to welcome you to the City of Greater Sudbury this week. And I want to thank Executive Director Kira Heinick, uh, President Janet Menard, and Vice President Catherine Matheson, and the rest of the organizing team for putting together an exciting and productive week of meetings and activities. And I also want to take a moment to thank the city staff because I know that they've done a, a great job of organizing this with the organizers. In Greater Sudbury, we are exceptionally proud of our city. We are a modern, prosperous city with a university, two colleges, schools of medicine and architecture, a research and teaching hospital, and a work-life balance featuring an average 10-minute commute to work, unless there's construction, <laughs> and a short drive to your weekend escape. Who could ask for more? I note your association's values statement. Sustainability, diversity, fairness, responsiveness, collaborative partnerships, innovation, and continuous improvement. As our very own Catherine Matheson can tell you, these are the very same values that guide our city. And I know that Catherine and her team has done an amazing job over the past three and a half years to ensure that uh, people in our community are looked after, and they do an amazing job. I'd like to give them a round of applause. And I know you are all doing great work in your communi communities, and uh, I know this networking is certainly the way to uh, uh, move ideas forward. I'm sure you will find that Greater Sudbury is an inclusive, friendly, and welcoming city, and a city bursting with opportunity. We have parks, waterfronts, trails, two internationally recognized science centers, and a summer packed with festivals. Uh, there is so much to see and do all year round, and I know you're going to be enjoying some of our highlights today. I hope your schedule will allow you time to get to see some more of our beautiful city, and of course, when anybody comes here, I always ask them to spend lots of money because it's all a, a little bit of an economic development, right? <laughs> I hope you have a safe and productive few days, and I welcome you to our great city. Thank you so much. It is a great place to live, work, and play. Thank you, Merci Miigwech. <laughs>